Satan would use different lies. You know, he would say, well, like, what, what if you, what if the words you said weren't the right words? Um, and, you know, what if, what if you, your heart wasn't actually right at the time? Or just all sorts of different things. Hey, my name is Abby Gannon, and I am from Belfry, Kentucky. So throughout my entire life, really, um, but especially my time since um, becoming a Christian, I've struggled a lot with doubt. Um, I came to know Jesus when I was like a freshman in high school, and um, from that day forward was really when my struggle with doubt began. Um, so it was right from the get-go of accepting Jesus as my savior. Um, I wasn't baptized right after I accepted Christ and I think Satan planted this lie in my head that because I wasn't baptized, what if I didn't mean it? Um, what if I really, like what if I wasn't sure? What if I didn't say the right words? What if I um, didn't actually accept Christ? I just thought I did. Um, and so that kind of was my story like throughout all of high school and all of college and it just it never went away it kept coming back and i think the the fi the last and final thing that i think satan tried to like plant the lie that he tried to plant in my mind was that because i didn't remember the date that it happened um that it wasn't real and i remember kind of the culmination of like this whole story and saga of doubt that had kind of trailed with me for like seven or eight years. Um, it was May 26th of 2020. I was sitting with my friend Kelsey and we were just talking and I was like in tears and I was like, Kelsey, I don't understand. Like it keeps coming back. Like I finally feel like the Lord's broken me from this doubt, from this like just like stronghold and these like chains that I was feeling. And then it kept coming back and I didn't get it. And I told her, I was like, I don't remember the date. Like, I don't know if that's the actual date which I was saved. And she was like, why does it matter? And to me, it really did. <laughs> I don't know why it did, but it did. Like, it matters. And she was like, so why can't today be that day for you? And it sounded crazy because I was like, well, that's silly. Like, I've already accepted Christ. Like, I've already done that. And she was like, okay, well, if you know you've already done it, then why do you doubt it? And it was just kind of, I think she was just like peeling back layer after layer after layer of like why I was feeling what I was feeling. And, you know, she reminded me like, I don't know the date, but God knows the date. Um, and so we wrote down like on a piece of paper right then on May 26th, like Abby Gannon, child of God, and then we drew a blank line and said like, God's gonna fill in that date one day. Um, and then we wrote down like, celebrated on May 26th every year. Um, and I don't know, I think just like from that point, I really have been free from that doubt. Like I really have believed that I am sealed in him and I am held by him and there's nothing that can snatch me out of his hands. And I don't know what switched that day, but I think it was just a final like surrender of it all to the Lord and be like, okay, God, like I don't have to know because you do. If I'm allowed to have a favorite characteristic about God, it's that he is faithful. Because I think not just within this story, but through my entire life, like over and over and over again, I can just like trace like his hand of faithfulness. Um, you know, there's a verse in um, 2 Timothy and it talks about, it says, even when we are faithless, he is faithful because he can't deny who he is. And I love that verse because it's like, through this whole story of doubt, I think like, what I kept coming back to was like, God, you are faithful because you can't deny who you are. And if you say in your word that the moment I believe I am marked in you, it's like, it kind of feels like a branding, like on like cows or like goats or whatever. Like you, like I am like marked in him. Like I'm stamped, I'm sealed. If he really says that, I have to trust that like he's faithful even on the days when I'm like, am I really yours? Or even on the days when I say like, there's no way I can trust any of this. 
it's so cool the amount of times in scripture when God presents himself faithful to whoever, like to the Israelites or to Paul or even to Jesus, like himself. And like, if God could do it, I mean, that's just another proof of his faithfulness. Like if he could do it then, he's going to continue to do it. Um, And just because I doubt or I don't believe it in the moment doesn't mean it's not true because it's who he is. Like the character of God is not up for debate. It's not something that you get to like, you get to decide one day is true and one day it's not. Like it is fact. Um, And so like, even in the midst of doubt, he is faithful because he can't deny who he is because it's a fact. I think for so long I made my salvation about me. I made it about if I said the right words, if I knew the right day, if I followed in obedience of baptism right away, if I, whatever it was. And I think finally, I just realized like, it's not about me. It's about God because he's faithful. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching that video. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can continue to explore faith with Lane of Roses all week and go ahead and check out our next video right over there.